Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I wanted to do a video about choreographing a floor routine. Um, now my knee is healing very well. Um, I won't say fully healed, but it's uh, very much on its way to full recovery. I've been doing a bit more choreography and yeah, it's been so enjoyable. It's something that I do really, really like doing. So yeah, thanks to all the people that have trusted me to do their floor routines. Um, so yeah, I thought I would film the process with one of my amazing gymnasts. So I am going to show you the process with an adult gymnast, my first adult gymnast I've ever choreographed for. Her name's Caroline and she said, so yeah, so Caroline wasn't sure what music she wanted. Um, she kind of sent me her old music and gave me a vibe of what she likes. So I found a few, sent her a few options and then she chose from there, which was really good because because I had a bit of input in the music, I like the music. And when I like it, I tend to have more inspiration. So first of all, I'll sit in the car. Obviously I'm driving, so I'll be driving somewhere. I listen to the music a few times and kind of like, just get the vibe for how I want the routine to be. And sometimes even make like the beginning up in my head. Um, I think in the car is such a great place because there's no, obviously you're focused on the road, but there's no other distractions. I think if I put music on at home, I am tend to get distracted start cleaning or doing something else. So yeah, I always find I have great ideas in the car. I then take these ideas and I'll go to, I've been using Elliot's Clinic um, a lot for my choreography. So it's obviously mirrored. I always love to look in the mirror when I'm choreographing. Obviously you can see if it looks nice. Um, and yeah, so just start putting my ideas together and um, start making the routine. So it's obviously a smaller space in Elliot's Clinic, so I like to draw out the floor and kind of make sure that I'm making sections long enough and short enough to fit on the floor. And then I don't always get the opportunity, but this week I was at Heathrow the day before I was making up Caroline's routine, so I got the chance to do it on the floor area and make sure it all just worked. So that was really, really good. Because I just love it when I've kind of already got it in my head and then I can just teach it. Um, I think making it up on the spot, first of all, you've got a bit of pressure on you, but also I don't think you think of your best ideas. Whereas obviously where I've been able to make it up and then I've been able to kind of like perfect it, then see if it works on the floor. Um, I think that's when I produce my best choreography. Um, but obviously when I'm teaching it, if there's certain bits that just don't work for that individual, like obviously I've got long arms and my shoulders are quite flexible. So sometimes a dance move, like especially like this type of thing, when I can really like get my arm really far over, but some people have shorter and less flexible arms, so theirs just doesn't go as far, so it just might not work, it just might not work for their body. So obviously you're always changing and adapting it. Almost, yeah. Show me just a head circle. That's it, a little bit more. Like imagine you've got really long ponytail. Just like that. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, nice. We can always change the arm if that's like awkward. choreographers that make it all up on the spot and they're incredible um, but what I found for me is if I can get um, a good idea of it beforehand then that is just more effective for sort of my process but yeah just checking with them like do you like this like is it does it feel good for you or if you do see them struggling just being like oh let's just scrap that kind of thing so obviously sometimes they're a bit shy or they don't want to offend you and say it so just checking in with them making sure um, that it's all going well and yeah lovely so if you can, step like straight from your knee like that. But if you find that a bit tricky, then you can just put your foot up. Yeah, so, like that, like that. so you'll be here, yeah. you should, yeah. then just step like that. So put your knee forward and then put your hands down. Yeah, you can do <laughs> yeah that's alright then. Just go with your foot, that's yeah. fine. Oh, quite a bit, I might be able Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah, so step, boom. Also, sometimes maybe they'll They'll, they can't quite do something, but you can tell that a bit of practice, they will be able to do it. And then also just figuring out how that person best learns.
So I have a video of me doing the whole thing. We'll put that in as kind of like the final routine. Like I said, we did make a few adaptations today, but Caroline's going away and practicing it and perfecting it. And then maybe she'll send me a video. Maybe I can include it in a future vlog. But um, yeah, I'll use that as like, this is the final routine, even though it's not, but just so you can see it all. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, a little bit different. Um, and yeah, anyone out there that does want me to choreograph a routine, let me know. You can email me or you can slide in my DMs. But yeah, I'm just loving being able to use my leg a bit more. And I absolutely love choreography. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon.